Eva Marie. Eva Marie. What, I mean, if you're a wrestling fan and you're listening to me speak right now, and I say Eva Marie, I, 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 I curiously wonder, what, what's the first thought that comes into your mind? And yes, she is pretty. There's no denying that at all. She is very, very beautiful, but who gives a shit when it comes to being a professional wrestler? We saw her re-debut on NXT versus a wrestler named Cassie, and I watched it with a hopeful mind, and I thought to myself, you know, let's give her a shot. Let's see what it is that she can do. Uh, clearly, her, her previous... Uh, incarnation as a wrestler was not successful at all so she comes out as this all red everything which is what she kind of claims to be her gimmick but you know at the same time I'm trying to figure out what her gimmick is she doesn't really have a gimmick she's just Eva Marie all red everything I'm hot and that's it I don't know anything about her if I never watched Total Divas and I cringe when I watch Total Divas most of the time, but if I didn't watch it, I wouldn't know who she is. So she has no gimmick. But then we see her in the ring, and we see her wrestle. And I gotta say, yes, it is better than what she did before. There is no doubt about that. But is it good? Is it objectively good professional wrestling? No, it's not. It, it's actually pretty damn bad. Um, if you look at her sequences and what she did in the ring, it was more more or less arm lock, Irish whip, suplex, arm lock, headlock, you know, and, and that and that was it. And and it was rest hold uh, to set up the next sequence and to set up the next move and eventually get the win. My my my. I, I can't even speak when I think about her because it's so weird. When I think of Eva Marie and I see her wrestle, I just see this dainty girl who's afraid afraid of getting hurt. She's afraid of, of taking real bumps. Um, you know, at, towards the end of the match, she got her nose smashed up, and that's all, that's all she was focusing on. I, I just saw her continuously look at the nose like like she just lost her nose or something. It wasn't any good, and and she she did this splash uh, in the ring, which was like kind of half-assed. Whenever she runs the ropes, they're kind of it's kind of half-assed. Um, but then, in the midst of the match, you could hear a chant, and oh boy, oh boy, when I heard this chant, I shit myself in fear. Because this is the chant that WWE creative loves. And the moment I heard this chant, I thought to myself, oh no, she's going to get a major push. And they're going to keep putting her on TV. Regardless of her shitty wrestling. And hey, you know, props to her, she's getting better. And props to her, she wants to do this. But I just don't see it. But the chant that I heard was... Let's go, Eva. Eva sucks. Now, does that remind you of anybody? Obviously, it does. It reminds you of Mr. John Cena, who is, by the way, right now, the wrestler of 2015, without a doubt, the U.S. Open Challenge, is the story of 2015. But how long, is it, how long has John Cena been in the WWE? 13 years? Something like that. So it took him until his 13th year to be the Wrestler of the Year, and he's been a 15-time champion, second most of all time at this point. And yet, does he deserve it? I really don't know. I really can't say. That's a video for another time. But Eva Marie getting the Eva, let's go Eva, Eva sucks chant is like, it, it, it makes her a polarizing character. And this is something that the WWE loves. They love polarizing characters. They love characters that gain and garner a reaction because reactions sell 
tickets, regardless of whether or not she is a good wrestler. So, what does this mean for the future? What does this mean for the Divas Division? What does this mean for the Divas Division in NXT? We have to wait and see. But right now, I'm not thrilled with the way they're going because she doesn't seem like to be she doesn't seem to be the best wrestler, but she's getting a major reaction, and that kind of scares me going forth.